For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do uh, this problem which they want you to find the unstretched length of the spring AC if a force B of 18 pounds causes the angle theta to be 60 degrees for equilibrium. They tell you that AB is 2 feet long, this is 2 feet. And this whole thing is 4 feet. So this length right here can be found because we got the hypotenuse of 2 feet. Let's call this length B. And let's call this length right here dotted line A. So A is equal to 2 sine of 60, which is 1.73 feet. B is equal to 2 cosine of 60, which is equal to 1 foot. So this is 1, this is 1.73. Now, this angle can also be found, this angle right here, because you know if this is one foot, this right here has to be three feet since the whole thing is four feet. And you got A already. So this angle is equal to the tangent inverse of A over three. A we know already to be 1.73. So this angle comes out to be 30 degrees, beautiful number. Now, now that you have this angle, which is 30 degrees, and you have this angle, then this is what you do, you do. The sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero, so we got the, this force, the force the spring does, and p, which comes straight down at 80. So this force has this x component and this y component. Now this x component and this force has this x component and this y component. So this force is going to the left. Let's call this force um, FAB and let's call this force FAC. So FAB times the cosine of 60 degrees this is negative because it's going to the left plus FAC cosine of 30 degrees because it's going to the right is equal to zero so basically this component plus this component cancel out let's call this equation So actually, basically, I can further solve this. So this is going to be negative 0.5 FAB plus 0.866 FAC is equal to 0. Yes, yeah, more like it. And then we got this other formula that we know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to 0. So this means that FAB times the cosine, I'm sorry, times the sine of 60 plus FAC times the sine of 30 minus P, which is 80, is equal to zero. So this I will write at 0 0.866 FAB plus 0.5 FAC is equal to 80. Okay, let's give names to these things. Let's call this one one, let's call this one two. So to solve this, I would, um, number two, I would actually multiply this. Let's multiply it by 0 0.866 over 0 0.5. That's how I would do it. So when you do this, you multiply this whole thing. So 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 is 1 times 0 0.866 will be negative 0 0.866 FAB. This will be plus 1.5. F A C is equal to zero. So these two cancel out and this comes out as 
this comes out as uh, 2 FAC is equal to 80 so FAC is equal to 40 pounds so now that we have FAC you know that FAC is equal to L minus L naught times K K is the constant that is given at 50 pounds per foot so this is 40 pounds this is okay L minus L naught still need to find L L is easy to find guys if this is A is 1.73 and this is 3 then you know that L is equal to 1.73 square plus 3 square all square rooted so L comes out to be 3.46 so let me put L in here 3.46 minus L naught times K which is 50 so when you solve for L naught you're gonna get that it is equal to 2.66 feet find the answer each length done final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you